Hello there, today we're going to use Affinity Publisher version 2 to create a digital planner for 2024. I'm also going to share this planner with you. There will be a link in the description to my Gumroad. You can just place $0 as the price to get it completely free. All right, let's get started. As you can see here, I'm not starting from the scratch. Remember our last project in Publisher, that was a calendar that you can design yourself. You can put your own image at the top. I created a table at the bottom with correct dates and your task was to customize this so we can have a printable calendar. So we're going to use this as our digital planner. Let's just change document setup. So I click document setup and from here I can see that I'm using A4 and that's the vertical preset. So let's change A4 to letter. All right, and let's make it horizontal, just like that for all of the pages. That's good. Like last time, I will not create a margin for you. I will not set up any bleeds for you. You need to adjust that, but we are doing the digital planner. So I don't think you need bleeds or margins at all. All right, let's click OK. As you can see, all of my pages change and now I can just manually make some adjustments. So if I head to page number two, I can see my calendar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a section on the right side with a line so we can put make some notes on it. What else can we do here? We can move the name of the month to the right and then you will be able to stretch the calendar a bit. Take a look. The good thing is even if I stretch it, all of the numbers and text in it will be fine because this object is a proper table. That's how you can edit that. You can change all of the colors and fonts like I explained it before. All right. So let's stretch this and on the right side in the transform, I can see the exact size. So the height, let's set up the height to be same as the width. So we got exactly square calendar. So let's make it 175, 175, 175, 175. All right, that's good. Now I drag into the center of the page. Can you see this red line guiding me to the center? If you cannot snap to those extra guides, be sure you turn on snapping at the top, this little magnet icon. All right, here's the name of the man. And we got this empty area for our line so we can make hand notes. And where's the line tool? I get this question quite often, you know, on the comment section, where's the line tool? Actually, we just need a pen tool for making lines. There's no dedicated line tool. So I grab the pen tool, holding shift, I make a perfect straight line. And let's make it like one point. It's not exactly black. As you can see, it's like very dark gray, you can say. Okay, now I will align this here. Holding command, I will move it down. This way I can make a duplicate. I hold in command. And now I can use something called power duplicate. Power duplicate will make copy of the last copy. So it's not only make a copy of the object, but also of the transformation. In my case, I move it down. So let's try command or control on windows and letter J. That's nice. Okay. So we have created those extra lines that vector base. So don't be afraid about stretching them around. You will not mess up anything. And if you got a rather big handwriting, you can simply delete some of them and stretch them up as you please. All right. And this is the layout for the one page of our digital planner. Of course, that's a very basic thing. It's gray, black and white, very simple fonts. Feel free, feel free to adjust those fonts. Feel free to change colors, add, mark your special days, mark your holidays, all right? 
this document is a template for you so be creative all right so i'm going to apply exactly same transformation to all 12 pages all 12 months then i will save it as the native affinity publisher document i will also export one pdf in case we're on different software maybe that can help you out okay but keep in mind natively i'm doing this for a uh, publisher what else i will do i'm going to also create an asset panel so i will click window assets all right i got some assets here already huh i'm going to group this whole month command g and then i will add asset from i will create a category for that okay so we got 2024 and now i'm going to add asset from the selection and take a look now whatever i need to drag and drop a calendar i can use this asset panel and i will get the january 2024 so i will also create an asset for our calendar why asset panel because asset panel will work universally and you can drag and drop those calendars in any documents across the affinity family so you can drop them in in your designer document even in your photo document and they will work just fine all right so let me just finish this all 12 months i will just speed up this video slightly all right am i done changing the formatting now i'm going to group each page and add to the asset panel as well so i think i'm going to start from the top so we got the correct order i already add january now it's time to group february then simply click here and add from selection as i mentioned before if you cannot see your asset panel click window and turn on your assets assets are available in all three programs so we just simply open your asset panel in designer photo or publisher and then you can drag and drop those assets to your designs after i finish adding those assets i will actually prove you that you can use this in designer so just wait a moment and we'll open affinity designer next all right and now we are in affinity designer the blue program let me just open my asset panel here. Okay, I got my asset panel. I'll stick it here to the left. And now I'm going to import assets. So after you download my assets, you simply import them into your program. Take a look. I got all of my assets. I got 12 months here. And let's test it out. Let's drag and drop the first one. It's rather big, but seems like it's all working just fine so let me just try to reduce the size seems like it's scaling down no problem this artboard size is a bit different so what if i want to modify elements for this january page just open up the group and as you can see everything's here you can even ungroup this guy so i can click and i can ungroup by default it's group but we can ungroup and now everything is separately again take a look we can do all necessary changes and modifications you can click the table and you will have even some table options here you can change the size the type of the font the color of it no problem and if you decide to add more artboards using the artboard tool i just click insert artboard i got another page now i drag and drop february it's a bit oversized but you should be able to scale it down and modify it to your needs keep in mind that's just more like a template for you to speed up your own planner all right so as you can see even though the native file is in publisher you can use those assets across the affinity family there's also a PDF file in case you are on different software, but I still want to use those assets. All right. As I mentioned, follow the link from the description. Then 
you can put your own price so if you feel generous you can put like little tip like one or two dollars or just put zero and download this for free it's for you and i hope you have wonderful new year bye